Have you ever wondered why some stories resonate with you more than others? The secret is story structure formulas. And there's actually quite a few. The, the three-act story structure is one that I've done a video about, and I will put the link in the description and you can check that out. But in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the hero's journey. The hero's journey is timeless and well used. And as we go through the hero's journey story structure, you may recognize the use of this story structure in some of your favorite books and movies. The Hero's Journey was popularized by Joseph Campbell, and it is a very sound story structure that has been used for generations in myths and legends and even modern storytelling. It follows a hero who leaves home on an adventure, faces challenges, faces transformation as a person, overcomes the challenges, and then returns home a different person. A popular theme of the hero's journey is personal transformation and personal growth. Let's break the hero's journey down into steps. And the first step is the ordinary world. In this step, you show the normal world of the character. You can present some of their flaws, some of their weaknesses. You can present some of the things that they, that they desire or want, and it shows their normal world. By showing some of the main character's flaws, weaknesses, and inner desires, it allows the reader or the viewer to connect with your main character, to relate to the main character, and to invest in the journey. The next thing that happens is the call to adventure. And in the call to adventure, you have the hero's life being disrupted. Something happens that interrupts their life and they are requested to be pulled out. It could be a phone call, it could be a revelation, it could be something major happening in their life, but it is something that, that stirs up the status quo. Now, often the hero refuses to answer the call to adventure at first, and there's a mentor that comes along and helps, gives them a nudge to pursue going to that adventure. But the next thing that happens is that they cross the threshold. They leave the, their ordinary, normal world behind, and they step into the unknown. This unknown place that the hero steps into is gonna be full of tests and trials and allies and uh, enemies. It's gonna be full of all kinds of stuff that challenges the hero. If you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss any future videos. As they go on to the next step, it's the road through the unknown. And this is the place where the hero has to face challenges and trials. And each challenge and trial that they face, they grow a little bit and they learn something new and they grow as a person. And the key here is that this is kind of a, a building, that each thing that happens during this phase in the hero's journey cements their resolve to face this challenge and to, to not give up and to make them grow. It's during this time that they learn new skills and they learn how to fight or they learn how to do something new. And this is what propels them into the next step, which is the abyss. Now in the abyss, this is the the dark place where the hero has, has to face defeat and they face the hardest, they, they face it head on. Now, this can often be um, a challenge or a fear that is their greatest fear and they, they have to face it. And as a result of facing their greatest fear, they continue in their growth process. From there, you go to the revelation and the transformation and the character is changed because of what they faced in the abyss. The hero may have new wisdom, may have new skills, uh, could have new insight, and they're ready to face their greatest challenge. The next step is atonement. And in this place, this is where 
they overcome that the big monumental challenge that has been dogging them the whole journey. And because of their experiences leading up to the abyss, and then the experience in the abyss where they had revelation and they realized that they're better than they thought they were, and then they move into this, this is where they face their, their greatest, greatest thing, and they face it head on, and they overcome it. From here, the hero returns to the normal world, coming full circle, and when they return to their normal world, they bring back with them all of these experiences, and they're able to give into the normal world and make a difference in what was their normal world before they went on this journey. I want to give you an example so that you can clearly see how the hero's journey can play out in a story. And one of my favorite movies and stories is Mulan. Now, in Mulan, we have the, the movie starts out with the character is in her normal world. And it presents who she is and some of her character traits. And she's getting all dressed up and getting ready to go meet the matchmaker to bring honor on her family. And honor is a huge deal for Mulan. And it is really presents it well and how she's failing in that. Next, we have the call to adventure. And in this place, we have the messenger coming to their house and telling the, her father that he has to go back to war. But he has an injury from the previous war, which would make it very hard on him. But he only has a daughter, so he has to go. And we close out the call to adventure feeling like, what's going to happen? And the crossing the threshold is the place in the movie where Mulan Everybody's in bed sleeping, and she cuts her hair off and puts on her father's armor, takes his horse, and she leaves in the middle of the night to take his place. She crosses that threshold from her normal world into the unknown. As part of this process, she gets a helper, Mushu, the little dragon, that's that's supposed to help her, and he kind of guides her and, and helps her, sort of. He's kind of a strange little fellow, but his purpose in the storyline is to be her helper. Now, once she reaches the training camp, she goes through all kinds of trials and challenges. And if you've seen the movie, uh, you are familiar with all the trials that she goes through. That's the phase where she's learning new skills. Moving forward, she hits the abyss when she's with the men that she trained with. And they're facing off with the Huns, and there's the mountains, and she shoots a cannon into the mountain, causes an avalanche. The bad guy cuts her side, and she survives, and they go to bandage her wound, and they discover she's a woman. It's the darkest point in her story, because the one thing she wanted was to bring honor to her family. And because she dressed up like a man, and, and it took the place of her father, she's brought dishonor to her family name. And so instead of killing her, they leave her, and she's in this really dark place, and you see her sitting there with her horse, and she's all sad. That's the abyss. She comes to the place of transformation when she sees the Huns, and they're not dead. And so she changes her mind and decides that she's gonna, she's gonna help, even if it means that they don't want her, she's still gonna help. And she heads to the capital city, she finds her men, they don't believe her, and the emperor gets taken captive. She comes up with a plan, and they save the emperor, and woohoo, all is saved. Then it's the time for her to return home. Because remember, in the hero's journey, the hero goes full circle and returns home. And so she gets the sword and the emperor's sh um, shield thing, and she, she goes home and she presents those things to her father, and honor is restored to her family name. There are lots of examples of the hero's journey used in literature, in books, in movies. Some examples are Hunger Games, Star Wars, Lord of the Rings. If you look at those and you think about the hero's journey format, you'll probably be surprised at how these movies and stories that are so very popular follow the format of the hero's journey. Remember, the hero's journey is a compelling way to write a story that people relate to. No matter what genre you write in, you can use the hero's journey format to craft a story that is compelling, that, that the reader or the viewer wants 
to consume. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.